Come on, why not join the smart guys? Welcome to another session of Endless Space 2, where we definitely want to join the smart guys. Um, the reason I want to play the Sophons right now is because they fairly recently suffered a fairly significant nerf. So in the latest patch, the Sophons didn't directly receive any balance changes, but what was changed was the starting scientific law, which is, um, I believe, called Dirty Hands Act. And previously, Dirty Hands Act reduced improvement costs by 20%. Which is a pretty significant si like industry bonus. I say science because you know science. <laughs> but the problem is, Dirty Hands Act has recently been reduced to a ten percent reduced cost, meaning that it's half as effective as it was before. Meaning that the Sophons, who previously already struggled with industry, I think, are now even worse at industry at the start of the game, which is a pretty big blow. I mean, you you can only you make get twenty industry out of. Um, Zero industrial infrastructure because Heckham is only fertile but not temperate. It's a cold planet. So really, I think the Sophons are a little bit in trouble now. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were one of the weakest factions. But before I decide that, let me just give them a run. And before we jump into that, we should probably talk about uh, what makes the Sophons distinct and special. So not the obliterator, every faction has that, but all these beautiful ships are very cool. And the Sophons have Omniscience, which is their main trait, which means the less factions have a, have already researched a science, the faster we can research it. So we get a, a, a sizable boost out of researching things that nobody else is research, researching, but also out of leaning on science. So science is really something we should commit to. We start with the scientist's laws, which should help with that in theory, and our citizens. Both the Sophons and the Pilgrims are pretty good at science. In addition to that, we're good at scouting. We're fast travelers too, our ships are faster. We have Pathfinders, which means uh, nodes are revealed for us. And we're not that great at infantry combat, but it's fine because um, tanks are way better than infantry for most of the game. So really, really good scientists. The problem really is that their industry is not very impressive, and if your industry lags behind your science, it doesn't matter how many upgrades you unlock if you can't build the upgrades. So that's what I foresee the problem being for the Sophons, and that's why I feel like the Sophons might be quite weak, and potentially in the ratio tier, which is, you know, <laughs> pretty... P not, not great, okay, it's not great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Horatio. I love you. Everybody loves you, but you're not objectively powerful. So let's dive into the Sophons, or dive into the Sophons playthrough. I'm gonna dive into them. Uh, I don't know, are we shrinking and like, you know, going to their organs and stuff? To... I guess that's some sort of weird stereotypical science experiment in science fiction, so it's okay. I'm gonna stick with a standard skin because, uh, not that I don't like the red and black skin, but I, I like the the standard aesthetic when combined let's with the... Stuff, uh, I, mean, let's do I mean, the standard aesthetic when combined with the Sophon look of, you know, grayish or silveriness and like blue. Or like shiny white and blue. Um, I'm still playing on Endless, no pirates because I hate pirates. Like I think they destroy the game <laughs> for no reason. Damn the Baltus expansion. <laughs> and let's dive right into the game. And also, pretty soon we'll watch the cinematic, which will tell us something about the the way the story quest is going to go. Like I really do want to like the Sophons. They're really cool from a flavor perspective. Or like they they just feel kind of fun. Their trait is pretty fun, like just getting the science faster, but at the same time, I have struggled a bit with them, and I don't think that's an accident. Well, I don't think that's my fault. <laughs> well, I suspect it's not my fault. I suspect the faction is just either kind of difficult to play or kind of bad. They have always been first, the Sophons. First to split atoms. Mine asteroids and capture the energy of the sun. Fares too to crash their test rockets. Trigger artificial earthquakes. And accidentally blow up their moon. Their great power has given them great irresponsibility.
but through it. Now, they are the first to create perfection. Me. Masters of science, they have crammed the cold, rocky homeworld of Kepu with glittering metropolises and great works of engineering that proclaim their genius. As the newest member of the Triumph, you face a future full of risks and challenges. But hey, that's where the fun is. More great discoveries await you in the inky depths of space. Cool. Time to discover the inky depths of space, I guess. And it says Eden incense and dust water have been discovered. That's probably because of the main quests here. Or yeah, although we haven't unlocked this. So J Donix is up for grabs if we are the first to search ten curiosities. It's actually quite possible because we have um, fast chips and a good scouting hero. Now the first science I want to get has to be xenolinguistics because Mega. Oh, it's called something different? Mega Indie Consultancy. And it actually gives us bonus per cold. Have they changed that? Or was it... Was it just me who was confused about that? Okay, so maybe our industry at the start is actually better than I thought it was. Well, that's pretty nice. So with the Mega Industry Indie, we're going to get bonuses on cold planets, which is of course our starting planet. It looks like our starting system is not so great apart from this planet, though. Hecam is going to give us a lot of science and a good chunk of industry. Um, but beyond that, we have a toxic a lava and a lava planet, so it's going to be quite hard to expand within this system, which is kind of unfortunate. Normally, I go for I consider cerebro reality first, but I feel like we need the industry, so we need to get drone networks first. I think now, I'd like to pick up dirty hands act, but I don't know if it'll help. Again, this used to be so much better. As you can see, it isn't even accelerating this by a turn, and previously it would have done that, so... That's really unfortunate. I guess we might as well get toys for any... <laughs> any gender children to uh, boost our happiness base. Yeah, now we're into Loyal, which improves our dust and science output a little bit. And also improves our uh, food and influence generation. So yeah, not, not a promising law start. There might be a better combination for me, but I haven't found it yet. Or I haven't picked it. Now, as you can see, our ships are real fast. Let's assign our hero to this feat and see about turning them into a good scout. He or she. Oh, her. Okay. And we can get two engines for 10 movement speed, or we can get two probes for 7 movement speed, which I think is better. So yeah, a really good scout. Actually, I didn't know that Xeno was changed for this faction, so maybe they're actually better than I thought they were. And there are no um, curiosities to find in our starting system, which is unfortunate. Guess we should just move our detector here. Move our hero here. We definitely need to check out other systems where we can send our incubator. Now, here we have gas, ice, more barren. Nah, that's not great. What is this planet? It's boreal. Okay. For some reason, I thought we started on a terrible planet. I know Horatia starts on a terrible planet. It's like... Um, it's, uh, it's Mediterranean, so it's very, very bad for Xeno. It's cool that they changed Xeno to make... Uh, it's a little bit better on this faction because Xeno is so critical and if you can't make use of Xeno, you're kind of screwed. At the start of the game, I think. Well, we can send out this ship over here to see if we should go that way with our incubator. And... The answer is probably not. Yeah, so scouting there and getting some experience was nice for a hero, but potentially not so nice for a scout. Although incubator is so, so fast already. That I don't mind sending it the wrong way. Unlike the average scout ships. Send the average scout ship the wrong way. Like, like regret it for years. Like, but, yeah, not so much here. Now, what is our hero good at? 
Well, here is here is a very good science and tier skill, and a pretty good and tier governor skill of the counselor, and some nice governor bonuses like bonus uh, influence, especially of trading companies. And yeah, but it also has some good uh, warrior skills like bonus movement. And yeah, bonus movement is something especially valuable for fleet commander. Although we have so much movement anyway, so we maybe don't have to worry that much about it. Um, I probably want a a governor for a starting hero because it's going to be a while before we can confidently declare war on anyone. I probably want to change these laws up. They're not doing that much for me. Improving happiness is fine, but yeah, there are better options, I think. Or there might be better options. I'm not even sure if there are. Okay, somebody's already produced a hundred dust. <laughs> that one is quite difficult to do. It's sometimes even impossible. Oh, we, we got lucky. We uh, found a system to colonize right away. Monsoon? This is pretty good. With a beneficial anomaly. Or tiny ocean with a average anomaly but two resources. I think we're probably going to go for the monsoon though. Uh, sadly, it doesn't actually tell us what these things do. I think it improves happiness from memory. Okay. What does it do? What does it do? Damn it! Oh, at least it gives good food, so this should grow well on its own. Sadly, the industry is weak, but we're gonna have to live with that. Uh, we'd like to boost this, but we don't have enough dust yet. Kill Dirty Hands Act. Because it really isn't doing that much for us. Actually, it is actually setting this back by one. If we kill that, we get this in four turns. Okay, so Dirty Hands Act is offsetting the downside of Toys for Boys. So it's, it's a bit better than I thought it was. We could get Super Tax Act, but that will wreck our happiness. Uh, the main goal of getting Super Tax Act would be to get enough dust to set this planet up way faster. Although, I guess we can wait. Waiting is not super pleasant, but it's, it's an option. <laughs> I could probe out, but I don't think it matters as much. I'd rather get my hero searching curiosities right now. My question is, do we want to move her over here so we can find the curiosity there? And I think, I think yes. I think I would like to move her here and find out what this life form is. And we can keep it here to get a new probe in a turn and search curiosity here. We want to search as many curiosities as possible for this Jadonix. Jadonix is very good, and if there's any even the smallest chance that we can pick up extra Jadonix somewhere else, I'm, I'm all in. <laughs> I love Jadonix. I guess we'll use the Toys for Boys Dirty Hands Act combo to maintain our production at the same time as improving our happiness. Uh, for some reason, the tooltips have disappeared. I think it's a common bug for me. Really annoying, but it's fine. I know what most things do anyways. If you have this bug and you're new to the game, I'm so sorry. We can also get species stability to improve our dust production. That's an interesting choice. And then once we have the full dust production, this is going to take ages, but once we have the full dust production, we can boost this colony and make it grow faster. And I think that's, yeah, I think that's worth doing. It's going to slow down our industry, but hey... We're not good at that anyways. Okay, we can... Actually, we can send it up here and search there. Should probably search it this year, though. I hope that's a beneficial anomaly. Metallic waters. It's apparently mixed. I guess having waters that are like metal is <laughs> not not the greatest. Alright, what do we get? We got Transvine. That's very nice. Transvine is a pretty solid uh, upgrade. It's the one that I haven't gotten much of. But it's going to improve our happiness in our systems, which is apparently something we desperately need. Although, democracy is pretty good at getting people happy, but if we're not going, going for the super racist though. Ugh. If we're not going for um, pacifism, we won't have the laws necessary to keep our happiness super high. 
So, Trance Finders is actually not bad. It's somewhat surprising me. Oh, look, you get this. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't think our science base can handle something that extreme. And we're just a little bit shy of getting that. So we have the Mega Indy, which would take us 10 turns to build. As you can see, this is extremely powerful, but it just takes so long to get. I guess we get rid of the species stability thing, the Uber Races store. We've, we're getting enough dust, so we don't have to worry about that that much. And our science is high enough that we can tank a bit our happiness. I guess we go Dirty Hands to try and get these things a bit faster. How uh, Dirty Hands, how far you have fallen. This is really clogging up our early game. Oh, that's very, very bad. I guess we keep going Species Stability for the extra dust. And we're not losing any happiness that way. Staying on content is okay. We don't want to lose hap We don't want to lose industry. Normally we'd be fine with picking Toys for Boys because the industry is good enough to support it. But not with this faction, I think. So once we get Drone Networks and Mega Indie, our industry should be better. Or like, at least that is the hope. And we're also getting enough dust to boost the production here, so we get economy faster. The faster you get individual colonies, the better, because having multiple colonies, or multiple outposts rather, at the same time, is typically very bad, because you lose so much food. We gain some influence. Not bad. I'm not sure how you could gain influence by mining. <laughs> Teach me your ways. So we've picked up Mega Indie, which is great. Mega Indie being the better version of Xeno. It's, it's somewhat weird that I think this faction are bad if they have a, a buff version of Xeno Industrial Infrastructure. Oh, well, it's possible that this is just so good that we can leverage that. Although it's, it's, it's kind of awkward to use because our starting industry is so bad. We ideally want to pick up stuff that nobody else has right now, but we also need to pick up stuff that we need. So on this system, let's just look at the planets to make sure because <clears throat> picking up new planets is important, because it still doesn't tell me what this does. Picking up new planets is obviously important, so we need to find an ocean planet here. I think we already can unlock it. And ice planets here. Oh, this has a dust nebula. Very appealing. Well, it tells me what this does, but not what this does? Bullshit. <laughs> um... So, Tiny Ice is appealing because of the Dust Nebula, but otherwise not. Toxic and Lava are going to be difficult to get. Although, Lava is going to... Lava is going to come from this, and it's going to take us 16 turns. That's not worth it. Is there any other planet we desperately need that's affordable? A Savannah planet with Transvine? Alright. That could be interesting. And we get advanced scanners. And warp. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we get warp drives in addition to that. Warp drives are very good because they enable our ships to move without star lanes. And star lanes are these things, by the way. Sadly, I have allergies at the moment and they're not going away anytime soon, so. I'd have to stop recording and I wouldn't do that. So we're doing pretty well with this. And we can improve our odds of getting that fast by getting these. Excuse me. Get these Avard scanners. And we get the colonized savannah, so I think that's a fine choice. We could also go for the sap, which improves our happiness a little bit. But maybe afterwards. Okay, we need to, I think, check out as many curiosities as possible. Sadly, there are not that many nearby, so that is unfortunate. And we're also not a faction that starts with multiple curiosity ships, so would have helped. Too bad, so sad. What's good is that we start with democracy, so we have multiple uh, political factions available at the start. Multiple good laws, even if some of them are horrifically racist. Okay, this is good. A minor faction nearby, and also make more curiosities to find. We might even want to go to the minor faction first with the ship. Searching curiosities for minor factions really gets them in your good books. Their mind over body. Food turns into science. Interesting. Pragmatists provide more science and they have not made contact. Alright. That's cool. 
And the faction quest has just started. It would be so much better if, if they hadn't nerfed Dirty Hands Act, so that makes me sad because I don't think this I don't think the science factions needed a nerf. Even if that law was busted, it was used in a very it was useful for very weak faction or relatively weak factions. So yeah, I'm sad about that. Oh, we're missing technology to praise them. We could get that right now. And also, you know, actually it would be hard to get because uh, other people have got this already. But we have nothing to research here, so I guess we should go continue. But I think that was the harmony added by the recent patch? Maybe. Because I know that the new tracks are, there are new tracks added to the game. Soundtrack. Uh, which have to do with harm harmony. Or at least they were marketed as related to harmony harmony memories, so I wonder if the minor faction came from that. So our impact faces the problem of having to do boring stuff. And stupid surfons apparently don't exist. So somebody to get the boring stuff. Uh somebody to do the boring stuff has to be a super AI, which they just built. Probably gonna work out, right? <laughs> Now, um, we have to teach Enfer, the super AI, how to run an empire. So, raise our relationship to a minor faction of 90 or higher. We get this Silicon Tongue Diplomat, and it reduces, reduces the praise cost on a minor civilization, which is, you know, interesting. Not super great in the late game, but might be okay for a while. We can inspire it by orbit around two systems in a different constellation. Hmm, that'd be kind of tricky to do, but so far on free move is a great engine. Gives health bonus and vision range, in addition to four movement points. Yeah, that's a pretty good engine. The only thing actually better than that is unlocked over here, I think. Where is it? Yeah, this thing. Uh, this is better. Kind of. That, that's a while off, you know. So this is a pretty solid reward. And for militarizing, we get minus ship costs on systems, which is good. Um, so that's good. But we have to win battles, which is going to be kind of hard. And if we orbit around two systems in a different constellation, that's not impossible. We just have to build another scout ship at some point. The socializing is going to be kind of hard, and the water's not that great for very long. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to try teach my AI the power of science, and we can always do that by having explorationary fleets, and then um, also having a hero, assigning that hero, and then splitting the feet of the hero, and then doing it like that. That might be a good way to do it. But I think we'd, we'd rather just build the new fleet as soon as we can. Or as soon as it's convenient, actually. Now we should keep this active. As you can see, it makes the chronic pop in 8 turns, which is really good. Sorry, 9 turns. At that point, we can start building another colony ship. I think we should. Trying to colonize more systems faster is better. And at that point we should probably we should probably get this off of the angry business as fast as possible so we can start dumping influence points into them. Uh, looks like we can't actually bribe them with luxuries. Maybe that's something in partic particular to pacifists? Not quite sure how that works. Because for some reason I was able to bribe people with luxuries with another faction. Okay, we got that. That's quite nice. Now we're getting this in six terms. So this the, the boost from the drone networks did actually matter. And we've met the Sisters of Mercy from Ender's Legend. We'd also like to praise them, and we have nothing we can reveal for them, which is, again, a little bit sad. 
I really want to use those reveal points. Get that quest way faster. We're so close, but so far. Use an atoll for more transfine. Looks like transfine is the the name of the day or the luxury of the hour or whatever, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> we, we do want to go to this other planet though. And maybe that other planet. I think Transfine will be quite useful for us because improving the happiness is not bad. And also you kind of have to stick with whatever luxury is more available, I think. We can just kick the species ability if we want. It's improving our... It's improving our dust production by quite a substantial portion. But at the same time, it's killing our influence production. Although it's possible we don't care that much because we don't need that much influence to start praising these people. In two turns we can get the quest. At the latest in two turns. Yeah, so I, I think we're doing pretty well in terms of that quest. Or that, um, what is it? Challenge, they're called challenges. I haven't unlocked this yet, actually. Hilariously, you can have access to these sciences, but not, with, not know what the challenges are. Because of this very uh, weird article of science law. We can research technologies for the next tier, without actually being at the next tier. We don't actually get the tier bonuses, we just get the sciences. Yeah, sorry about the my allergies, but there's not much I can do about that. So. Let's search again. So nobody is finished, so as long as we're as long as we're alert at the start of the next turn, I think we can finish that quest before anyone else. Or if we get lucky here, there's a curiosity. Or get un don't get unlucky. Yes! Got it! I think we did it. Got some Jadonics. Very sweet. But and we could upgrade our systems with Jadonics, even though that's kind of burning the boat because um, burning bridges, I guess. Because the real problem is there that we don't have access to Jadonics later, so that's problematic in a way. Although Jadonics is so strong that maybe we shouldn't care. Getting these is not that difficult. Actually, I think I just need to start praising, so... Because because the sooner we convert these factions, the sooner we get free planets, so... And free planets are good. By free planets, I mean, you know, slightly easier to get planets. Or planets in addition to our normal colonization efforts. So, a bit less exciting than that, but yeah. Sadly, the public-private isn't buffed for us. It only gives us 20 science on this planet, because... I like the Mega Indie, doesn't actually improve with cold for some reason. I guess we can get Cerebro Reality first and then the Incubator. Ah, uh, we'll see. I really like that there's some tracks from the old Endless Space in the game now, thanks to that DLC. Not, it is a. Okay, look, you have to pay for it, but um, the composer had to like rework all those tracks and stuff. And they are really. Like, just good music, so I'm fine with it. So sadly, we're not getting the bonus on this, even though we really want this. Which is... Yeah, it's not great, but okay. Maybe the fact that I'm not getting the bonus means that I shouldn't be researching this. But... Uh, I think that must be too extreme. I guess we can get schooling, just to um, a school our children. But just because we need the extra science right now. Uh, as you can see, building a new population is really impossible while you're building a, a new settlement. It really gimps your main system's population growth. We could get this to help with that. Planetary landscaping is not bad. Maybe I actually want to kick species stability just for a bit of extra schooling. Grab examine act. It's going to make everyone a bit less happy, but uh, it's going to accelerate our science by quite a bit. This will be faster to get, but it's actually worse than the planetary landscaping. Maybe I'll just get off with agribusiness and then I'll think. I greet 
Alright, we're next to Lumerus. That's kind of good, actually. Lumerus are good at trading. It means we can trade with them. Which is not bad, actually. Next turn, we can research a final curiosity, then we assign our hero to the main system. I think we'll go scientist. And we might even get this flat bonus, because we, we are kind of short on science, weirdly enough, as the science faction. As you can see, the, the economic the faction isn't as economically strong as it should look. Oh, bonus per hero level. Okay, this is better than I thought it was. Yeah, the faction does struggle a bit with the economy, though. They are pretty fun. I do like them a lot. It's fine that we're not moving this fleet because we're guaranteed to get curiosities. We could have risked it and gone down this really long star lane. But I don't think we had to. Basic plasmoid shielding. That is a good shield. I'm very happy to pick that up. And let's pick up a governor. Improve our science by a substantial chunk. Yeah, what else can we get? I guess we want to get the Jadonics fast as fast as possible. Um, Miner's Union is not a bad upgrade to pick here. Or Galactic Commodities rather, because it gives us the Marketplace and we want to get this tier bonus. And the advantage of the tier bonus will be that we can use Jadonics to boost our industry, which I think we, we have to at this point. Like, We're not going to have a supply of Jadonics unless we buy it for the Marketplace, which is unfortunate. But at the same time, like the short-term bonus is just so important. The real problem with um, what are they called? The real problem with these upgrades or luxury upgrades is that you really you really have to commit to them. And later in the game, if you don't have a solid supply of them, you will feel really upset that you wasted uh, your luxury resource upgrade slot on something you can't get anymore. But, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, we can keep researching here. Okay, they've made an outpost there. Good to know. And now we have the option of impressing these manufacturers. And let's do that. Now we want to get our praise up to 50. Or we want to get our Greece relationship up to 50. We can praise them again. And they'll both go up to 40, which is fine. And then when we have influence again, we can just nudge them up into 50. So we'll slowly get there, which I'm fine with. We're not competing for their attention at the moment. Pretty soon we'll have Mega Indie, which means we'll finally have industry, hopefully. We can actually get another incubator. It's possible we want the extra sciences more because we're lagging behind a bit there. Although this is giving us 50, it's almost better than this, which gives us 20 only. Because we're only a fertile planet here. Kind of weird that the Sophons are the worst at making use of the science upgrade. <laughs> I guess maybe I should I could keep exploring with that ship because we have a quest. Although we need another ship to complete that quest. Even though the reward is excellent, that quest is not easy to do. I don't think any of the quests are easy to do actually. Okay, we've got some red sign here. Oh, I should send it in this direction. We should actually upgrade the scout here. Let's see if we can give it a better engine. We have to kill its um, probe though. We could get rid of the gun. Guns don't do much on scouts. I really like the scout design. Like, they just look beautiful. I don't really care about the slots. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I just like how ships look. And that, that's the important part for me. Alright, we'll choose next turn what to invest in there. And we'll choose next turn if we want to get the science store. Because we always have to check that your munitions effect is still active. But it probably should be, so that's fine. Yeah, so it looks like our hero needs to be devoted to science. Because surprisingly our science is quite bad, apart from the munitions bonus. Which is, again, like a bit weird. Uh, it still doesn't tell me what this does. Yeah, I think our planet, this planet actually improves our happiness because of, oh, because of the transvine, never mind. We have temperance, so should we get Mega Indy? 
And there's an ocean planet there, so yeah, we should get Mega and D pick up the ocean planet. Yeah, in that order. We're losing on science, uh, losing on dust. Unfortunate. We need to make sure we're exactly at. Um, actually, we can go back to species stability to make sure that doesn't go bad. And I think we can get cerebral reality to improve both our dust and our science right now. We need to make sure we have enough dust to. Actually, let's get the incubator first, then get that. Make sure we have enough dust to boost the population growth on our new colonies. Once we have this bonus for the Jadonics, we should probably go back and pick up some good food upgrades. Like sustainable farms. But I don't I need to rush myself now. I have one scout active. Again, I want two for the quest, but okay. We need to find a new constellation first. Yeah, as you can see, our industry takes a while to build up, which is which is bad. Good factions have strong industry early in the game, or have strong growth otherwise. And uh, it's quite, yeah. Okay, we found their home ward. Uh, we've seen eels more trustworthy than you. You're welcoming. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you insulting me? Oh well. I mean, those are some trustworthy eels, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. As long as we're not competing with these people's affections, with uh, the Lumeris player, we should be perfectly happy with the situation. Lumeris is not an aggressive uh, faction, so we don't have to worry about them attacking us. Especially since the AI tends to be a bit inflexible. Uh, the AI tends to be a bit inflexible. And it doesn't actually attack you with pacifist factions and stuff. We could actually try and uh, sell some of this stuff. We're not producing red sign, it's not very valuable for us. We could even sell Transvite if we wanted. Or Hyperium. Although, to what end? We can pick up more Jadonics. How much Jadonics do we need for a system upgrade? I think it's 25. If it is 25, then we have enough. For three system upgrades, which is which is good for now. In five turns, we'll get the ability to get a upgrade, which lets us, for one turn's worth of production, get sixty industry, which is disgusting. It's completely disgusting. Actually, we can go over here. That's a new constellation, right? And that means we could probably complete our quest. That's cool. If that's the case, we should definitely uh, get a new scout ship sooner rather than later. I just need to check that it actually triggers the tw quest condition first. Twist condition. The savannah planet is fine, but I think the other planet should be better. And the other system is also better. Yeah, this atoll planet is just better. It also gives us some titanium, which is good, because we don't have any resource production for strategics. Strategics don't matter as much as Endless Legend, but they do matter. Or as an Endless Legend. Let's get another detector, actually. I'm pretty sure the quest should trigger off the detector, and I do want to complete that quest. The thing is, once these five turns have passed, they'll, we'll just need to nudge them again for 10 influence. That's a new... That's a new constellation, right? This has to be a new constellation. Come on! Isn't this a new constellation? We couldn't appraise them. No, we can't. Slow praise. Alright, if it doesn't... Okay, we are in a new constellation. Good. So that, that quest will be too easy to do. We get the Cerebral Reality, we get the Detector, and then we move the Detector over, and then... All is well that ends well. And once we get the Astro Finance, we get the Jadonics online. I get sorry about all the coughing in my home. Alright, we have to find the academy. The sooner the academy is found, normally the better. Alright, let's colonize this atoll planet. This is a mixed anomaly, not interested. I have to remember it being quite bad actually, when I die. Again, I can't check the tooltip. Oh, this looks really nice. These nice, weird ass cliff faces. Structurally unsound too. 
speaks badly for the <laughs> Sophons if anything is structurally unsound. Okay, we have enough dust to spend, thanks to our racist laws. Praise the racist laws. But only in video games. Racist laws are really bad. I'm still uncomfortable using them, but okay. Um, infinite supermarkets is not bad. Why not? Or public private? This is so. 20 signs is good, so is 10 happiness. Doesn't actually show me what they do because of life. Yeah. Alright. This is fine. Just need a little bit of more influence or a little bit of more patience to get these. Or at least get their quests so we can start converting them. Oh, that's orange? Who's orange? I'm curious. curious. If orange is like cravers, I'll be so sad. <laughs> oh! I called it! They're not interested in other races here. Oh! So it has to be the same fleet. Never mind, we completed this quest. We don't actually need this thing. Wow. So we completed that and we got the Surf on free move, which makes our ship so much better. Dark Linda sucks, I don't care. Screw you, Dark Linda. So we're we're in a very bunched up Gallic or like yeah, which is in a very bunched up situation. Next to very friendly neighbors, very unfriendly neighbors. Maybe we should actually go for a military push against the Cravers at some point. Because they are very dangerous. Ah, oh, good lord. They're probably putting pressure on us because we are just lower on score. Yeah, that's an annoying thing about score. Because Cravers always lead on score because bullshit. <sighs> That's really unfortunate. Because they get a multiplicative bonus on top of their normal bonus for being endless. Because endless AI receives bonuses because it's not as good as playing as you are. At playing it. It's not as good at playing as you as good human players are. Yay, we've got a level. And they're gonna help us out a bit. We have to bring at least one explorer ship to the quest marker. Which is here. Huh, doable. Let's rock! Well, I guess we could have sent on the probe first. And we've got economy and trade. Very nice. And that means we can finally activate Jadonix. As you can see, that means we can put it on three different systems. Oh, excuse me, but now I might as well check how long the episode's been going. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't normally be happy with that, but also I forgot, so... We can evacuate the system. Yay! Or not. Ridiculous. Never use this unless you just capture the enemy system. You can never take you never keep it. Then you should definitely evacuate it. In a very rare circumstance, you should evacuate basically. Now this colony will pop in eleven turns. Now we can go back and pick up this planetary landscaping. And I think we should because we need food, sustainable farms is good. So is intensive cultivation. Again, the problem is sometimes you just need to get upgrades, which everybody else has, so your bonus is not so good. You have to be a bit disciplined like that. Pretty soon the election is going to happen, in which case we might pick up better laws. Again, the fact that we start with laws which are kind of mediocre is... Or now, at least now we do, is unfortunate. Getting the dust boost is... Good. and also extra surf on populations is good because then we can uh, get these collection bonuses faster but we don't have any of those resources to improve that okay we could buy them actually buy free Indian incense and buy one dust water there is no dust water available okay and what that will let us do is that will let us unlock the bonus population thing meaning we'll get a little bit of extra science for a very low price. Oh, maybe that wasn't worth it. I've just been experimenting with that a little bit more. We could get another incubator. But... Oh, we need we need to... Uh, in nine turns only will we want to get a new colony. Colony, colony. colony. Uh, and only nine turns will we want to get a new colony, as I was trying to say. Because that will reduce our 
um, food on the main system quite substantially. Oh, and these things are fast now. They were so on free move, like holy shit. Like 30 movement speed? Surfons are the masters of movement, apparently. So if we get one of these, it's gonna reach wherever we want it to go really quickly. I guess we'll get infinite supermarkets first, and then we have nothing better to do, I guess. Uh, oh, we should get planetary landscaping first. And we get this colonial exchange, which sucks. Don't do that. Wait, is this planet sterile? No, it's just cold. Yeah, as you can see, our industry has been heavily boosted by that fortunate Jadonix role. Although we did complete the quest, so we earned it, you know. We're gonna have to buy more Jadonics for the future, though. And buying 25 is no joke. Okay, this is the new quest out of the DLC. Um, it has to do with the Academy, and the, it's like an early game Academy quest for multiple factions of the Academy. We can investigate 10 new curiosities for a better probe construction ship. We can discover four systems outside of our constellation for the scavenger Ramsu, which includes movement points and reduces distance, increases distance traveled per movement point, which is interesting. And unclaimed places that you use. What is this mapping? We need a unique constellation for this, so no. Well, I guess we're going for the searching. And we're gonna find these plants pretty quickly, I think. Okay, we just need to praise them just a little bit more. So in five turns, they're going to be within range. Sadly, green is going to put our weight behind that. We can't afford species stability anymore. Our influence is too low. I guess we'll go for toys for boys. Improve our happiness a little bit. What do we even want at this stage? Oh wait, what is this? Oh, Magnus Council! Yes! I love this thing. Uh, we need to be the first to create two trade companies. It's gonna be pretty hard to do for almost all AIs because the AI never prioritizes trade ever. Which is very sad. These are good science upgrades. But they're quite expensive too. And we haven't even gotten the tier. We should probably get the sap. Sap is good. It gives us snow planets, it gives us the H-Field Accelerator, and it gives us this home and health program. Path program, sorry, which improves our happiness overall, which is pretty solid. I am a fan of that upgrade. I think we should get... We don't even need sustainable farms here. We could get intensive, actually. We should probably get public-private first. Yeah, Let's not get carried away there. Do we want a colony here? We're gonna intrude on Green's territory. But they're kind of chumps here. They're right next to the Cravers. They're in trouble. I don't mind that. I guess we get sustainable and then we get incubator. Because the incubator is so fast. Although, is it really that fast? Like, you know. Let's actually get the incubator first. Even the fastest ship is gonna take its time. And then we get the, the farming there afterwards. And now we go for this quest marker, I think. We should probably have uh, checked out stuff. Oh, there's more Cravers. Right. <sighs> Cravers. Scary, scary. What a side this little dirty hands act. Not impressive. Star Boogie. Impressive, but we really have so much extra movement. Need to breed build. Increases our food. It's not that great. Mine's bigger. It's like a bad version of the Steadly Intent. It's still good, mind you. But like, I don't know. We could go for Religious. This admit and improved build is not bad. Saints and Sinners uh, sets us onto, uh, I think this sets us onto content, and this allows us, makes us better against influence conversion and better at it. It's okay, but not amazing. I guess I sort of want industrialists, almost, because of this new colony bill. Or pacifists, right, thing rule is not bad. Though we don't have enough influence to make force piece a thing. 
guess pacifists are, or industrialists are just good. Their final law is amazing. Because it gives us a ton of extra industry per citizen. So mineral misers gives us bonus industry. This new colony rule is good. The colleges have a bunch of mediocre laws until you have a ton of different population types in your system. In which case they become good, but like hard to do. Um, hardship ready, we can research... Okay, we can colonize non-gas planets, no matter what. But we suffer a fence penalty, which is pretty bad. Um, I guess I'm going dust wind for. I just want the extra dust. I uh, will probably probably sign to win anyways, because democracy, you can't control this shit. <laughs> okay, bonus per anomalies. Okay, not great. This is terrible. Yeah, so democracy, you have the least control, but also you get a lot of stuff. Uh, this is good if we have sterile. We don't. Wait. We will have sterile in the future, mind you. Like these lava planets, we're not getting around building out into stereo on the system. No way. But at the same time, we can get a little bit of extra industry and food. Nah, dust is probably more important. It's gonna be better in the end game, and it's better right now because dust is so bad. So difficult to get, I guess. Happiness should have been boosted by that. Yeah, it was. Uh colony base. Okay, we're gaining 10 per planet, I think. That's a really good upgrade. I think it's boosted because of the Sophons. Yeah. Nice. So, that was a pretty good upgrade to pick up. We could pick up this for... We should pick up this for Alliance. Nah, that's not that good. Influence election results, we can't do that because democracy. Um, spin projects. Botanical scanning is just not good. Efficient shielding is something we want no matter what. But other people have already gotten this, so... Although we still want it no matter what. Oh, we don't get the bonus because other people can't get that, never mind. We can get impact of sites. This bonus ability is really cool. It forces you to reevaluate quite a lot. Council's negative effects on mixed anomalies. That's actually more appealing than it, look, it initially looks. This gravity shield of laboratories is... I mean, flat 50 to science is pretty solid, actually. I think they changed it on the surfons. Better with our population. Yeah, flat 50 increases, no joke. I think we should get it. Although there might be some passive bonuses which are better than that. Uh, I think I'd know about them if they were. <laughs> we don't have enough dust to fund this impact aside, sadly. We're a bit dust starved, which is kind of tragic. So tragic. Maybe we want to see what the tier bonus is. Well, the tier bonus is always a wonder, I think. Yeah, I think we can go for this high-end science upgrade. Or can we? How long is it going to take to build that? Like, 10 turns? Uh... It's going to give us a lot of science, but also it's going to take so long to build. <clears throat> this is going to cost us like 30 turns to build, that's out of our reach. As you can see, have not having industry really limits our options here. I guess we can get this, so then we get this. Nah, it's not even that good right now. I guess we get efficient shielding, because that's always good. <clears throat> Do we want to just get military weapons? Sooner? I don't even know. Is that the plan? I guess efficient shielding is an upgrade we always need, so we might as well just get it, because we don't know what to do. We're about to pick up this incubator. Yeah, we desperately need of more resources, basically. This is the curse of playing surfers. Oh, I forgot about my quest completely. <laughs> Search expeditions to the system's curiosity until you find the signal we uh, signal. Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, they're threatening us with dust. Screw you. Right. They're threatening us to give them their dust. They're threatening us with dust. Oh no! They have dust! <laughs> that's not what I meant, obviously. But <laughs> What do we do, Commander? 
I'm gonna stay cool. Let's search it one time. We found Empire Dust. Okay. Well, we found it. It is an ancient craft covered with unknown markings, built with metal that even surfers aren't familiar with. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. We have to bring it to hang on one of our systems, and then we get clever probes, which improves our probes and empire. Alright, that's cool. Not amazing, but... Let's move Amphor over. And keep scouting. Yeah. Hey, we're close to Erasure. This is a really a uh, lot of factions. I almost want to build military, actually. Like, the thing is, we're next to Cravers. And Cravers are militaristic by nature. We might not even gain these systems, so we might have to capture systems to expand ourselves. Or expand our empire. Expand ourselves. To get fat, basically. Um, like the Dota term, you know, getting gold XP. Oh, it's nice that it reveals these extra things. I think we should go here. This is a good system. Good planet. We probably need this. And also, if we get a system right away, we're taxing our main system a lot. And our dust production is not impressive. Neither is our... Actually, we should probably get Zeno Tourism on this system because we have... Half we get Cerebral because we have a... Luxury resource. This gives us more science at the cost of. Uh, actually, gives us a lot more science. <laughs> this is mixed. We can get that thing that counsels mixed. Where is that? Ah, oh, it costs so much. Ridiculous. Yeah, I should stay here actually. We get the Xeno Tourism and we get a lot of extra dust on places with. Unfortunately, the text isn't here, but it gives you bonus dust when you have a luxury, which is obviously nice if you have a luxury. Which we do, so it's nice. Yeah, we need to improve our food, but like we don't have the industrial base we need. So I feel like we almost want to attack or we want to abuse our science to get the best weaponry possible and then build fleets that they're. The Craver can't contend with. Which will be good defensively and offensively. Oh, this is nice. It's always nice when you get this. Bonus happiness. Bonus dust. Okay, we didn't give them the dust, which would have. Oh, come on, they've assimilated them? Alright, screw this, I'm on the warpath. <laughs> That's so sad, because we had. We invested in that, but the AI just has more points to spend. Yeah, which is sad. Yeah, so this is a rough start because we can't keep up an economy. I almost want to go like a bit gung ho and invest into military. You can see our dust isn't even holding up. Ugh. Yeah, this is a weird spot because I think again the so funds they you just can't output as much uh, industry as other factions can, and that's that's bad, obviously. I think we should encircle them. <laughs> be kind of funny. All right, so I'm I'm sort of caught between a rock and a hard place here. And join me next time to see how I nav can navigate out of this or fail to do so. So as usual, I hope you learned something and or enjoyed yourself watching. Uh, I definitely enjoy myself making these videos. And if you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe. Definitely means a lot to me. So uh, hope you have a nice week, and I'll see you next time.